Good morning, South Florida. And Hurricane Florence is about to make landfall. According to the National Hurricane Center, you can see that eye wall is approaching the coast and the rain has been relentless. The damaging gusty winds already leading to widespread power outages down trees. Not only that, we've had tornado warnings issued. Tornado watch is still in effect here because of that northeast quadrant where we typically see that spin in the atmosphere as this hurricane is moving on shore. Also, that life threatening storm surge and flooding, and it is just barely moving. As we look at that 5 a.m. advisory, just crawling to the west northwest at six miles an hour, and look at how massive this hurricane is. It extends out 390 miles and max sustained winds of 90 miles an hour. It is expected to just continue to slide slowly to the south here throughout the day today and continue to drench uh, the Carolina coast here and then eventually make a little turn to the west as a tropical storm potentially Saturday, Sunday, uh, and then by Monday of next week, we're going to see a depression and then eventually just a remnant area of low pressure. But that moisture associated with what's left of Florence will continue to, to move to the northeast and soak the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. In the meantime, our max wind gusts so far 81 miles an hour in Jacksonville, North Carolina, and 72 miles an hour in Wilmington. And that storm surge up to 10 feet already reported up to 11 feet as we head throughout the day today. And then we have flash flood watches and warnings. And you can see why as rainfall totals could range from 15 to 30 inches and some areas could see up to 40 inches of rain. In the meantime, Isaac has weakened to a tropical depression. It's moving west at 15 miles an hour across the eastern Caribbean and forecast to move west northwest generally as we head into early next week could be near over Jamaica and it is spreading some rain here across the lesser Antilles. You can see most of the models in agreement that uh, Isaac will continue moving towards the west northwest, but there are a few outliers maybe heading towards Hispaniola, Cuba, the Bahamas. It's still too soon to say, but we'll certainly keep an eye on it. Right now it appears to weaken to a wave by the time we get to next week, but yeah, still drenching portions of the lesser Antilles. This disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico now has a 30% chance of developing. It only has a brief opportunity to become a depression as it's starting to get closer to the land, maybe even moving across Texas or Louisiana, but it's just going to bring plenty of rain there. So look at what's going on in the tropics and we have tropical storm Joyce out there and tropical storm Helene, which you don't have to worry about in the eastern Atlantic. But you can see that disturbance in the Gulf. It is going to bring some heavy rain to parts of Texas and the Gulf Coast states. Here's the moisture with Florence, which is really not going anywhere anytime soon. And then the moisture with Isaac could impact our weather early next week. Right now, though, seeing a few showers run Ocean Reef, the upper keys right now, the upper 70s in Broward and Dade, low 80s down through the keys. Winds are calm, light throughout the day. A heads up, we will see the potential for scattered storms, especially into the afternoon hours for boaters, small craft caution and seeing those seas with those four to six foot swells. Look at how high the wave heights are there off the Carolina coast due to Florence. And we're seeing the indirect impacts because uh, of those wave heights being higher. So keep that in mind. There will be rough surf, dangerous rip currents and likely hazardous marine conditions today and into tomorrow, especially as we head into your weekend. We will see those highs in the low 90s with a chance for some spotty storms, not a washout, but still some storms here and there.